Yo, 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 it's your boy Blaze McCoy coming at you with something brand new, the seasoned rookie Zen Garden. Well, everyone wants to grow, physically, themselves, their children, pets, houses, their friends, etc. Whether mentally, emotionally, or even spiritually, we all want to learn and grow, however it may be. Self-sustainability, inside and out. That's what this part of the Blaze Radio Network is all about. And well, 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 what do we have here? Well, yes, it's your boy, Blaze McCoy, and landscaping and gardening have been passions of mine for quite some time. That's my backyard transformed from nothing into my Zen garden. Now, I never claim to be an expert or even good at this stuff, but I wanted to share this with y'all and hopefully learn a lot myself. Now, my house in 2008 came with a garden, so I thought, why not try, fail, try, eat, fail, try, etc.? 2010, different home with no garden. Slowly, I got this. A yield of vegetables, fruits, root vegetables, and herbs. Sustain of self-sustainability. So I started to do something about it even more. Transforming my backyard into a small oasis of sorts. And this vlog is where I'll share my experiences trying to grow vegetables and herbs, mainly for a homemade allspice and seasonings. Hopefully enjoy your boy Blaze McCoy's seasoned rookie Zen Garden vlog. Here's a bunch of pics showing my garden and the progress over the few years. 2011 it started, shelled out a hole and got ready for a garden. Brought all the utility in, got a fire pit going. It's continued to grow. Put up a fence because of some varmints and little critters that got in there. Needed to keep deer away as well. So I started planting paper down to try to keep some of the sea, uh, weeds out, fortifying the outside with brick, more walkway pavers here in the backyard and realized I needed to plant some grass, grew some corn, lettuce, and different things we experimented with. Then the driveway started 2012. A little more expansion, pavers, more beautification. And this is in the spring. We're getting it ready. As you can see, the grass still growing in the back. More gravel in, organizing a grass. Nice on the left, but it started to die, and we had to replace that later on. More pavers on the outside. More fortification for groundhogs and other critters that were trying to get inside, which we'll tell some stories about that later on. Getting ready for pavement. More, there's the grapevine, the start of it, the birth of it. 2013 started out cold, but that didn't stop me from growing and learning Failing, making mistakes, trying different ways, and moving on. You can see expansion in the back. We added two more plots, more pavers, piece by piece, buying a couple pavers at a time. Different um, processes, different mediums of growing. You see homemade um, beds, empty beds, concrete beds, parts of a doghouse to make a door. Just different ways to trial and error growing different types of vegetables, using different mediums, planting more grass, again, on the left-hand side. Once again, continuing to expand way too many plants. I'm going to scale back this year for many reasons we'll talk about here as well. And there it is. There it is. The blacktop. Move the fire pit up closer. More beautification. Bird feeder on the right coming up, as well as a, a bird bath. There's another yield, another harvest, some zucchini, peppers, tomatoes. 2014 and pretty much closer, the herb garden starts to grow on the right-hand side. More pavers, some out to the fire pit again. Growing radishes up close, put two trees there in the front, which I ended up removing, as you'll see right there. There you go. Big yield this year, um, way too many plants once again. Now strawberries on the bottom, grapes on the top, and the grapes started at very sour at first. I learned trial by uh, fire here with the grapes as well. We're keeping those going though. And some strawberries still growing along the shed there. Onions, kohlrabi or kalarab. We made coleslaw I think that time as well. There's cucumber. Another nice little harvest, some seasoning on the right that we let dry out for our allspice. 2015, very similar to what we have now, adding more pavers, more beautification at the same time. Then decided to move the middle into a patio and make two small areas to plant in the front with a path and expansion in the back. Trying out some cinder block or 
concrete block planting bed this time. Added nothing but dirt. Didn't uh, drain it very well at the bottom, so kind of scrapped that idea. It was cool to grow onions in it, though, as well as trying a greenhouse, a small one that was given to me. We moved it from that area where we tried it at start. There's the herb garden, which was blossomed into something a lot nicer. Greenhouse gone. Patio complete. There's the greenhouse over there. Uh, it was a nice little project. Grew a couple things, but too many bugs, too much cleaning, and just easier to grow it outside around here. Southwestern Pennsylvania, we get a good rainy season, which we have right now. We will see shortly as well. There's the patio. There's a whole nine yards in 2017. Losing some grass, planting some different things in the front. Then going to do a little putt-putt. We went, um, had some fake grass given to me, some turf. Grass in the middle is growing well. There's the overview. And then there's the fake turf, which is uh, professional grade, was given to me from a leftover from a project. 2018, solved my grass problem, I guess. 2018, there's your herb garden growing all the different spices and herbs. Overview of the whole thing. Nice blooming. There is the herb garden. Marigolds in the middle as well. A lot of basil, oregano. There's someone's cat in my uh, <laughs> wild cats, feral cat around the back there in the woods. Overview of the whole thing. We'll be working on this year. Then and now, people. That's what it looked like when I moved in around eight years ago. That's pretty much what it looks like now. We've made some adjustments on the right as well. But next, we'll have three videos. The garden vlog. The first three vlogs that I've taken to show you what we're doing this year in 2019. And pretty soon, we'll come back in a couple weeks and give you a live stream as we put new plants, new flowers in the ground and follow the progress throughout the summer. I want to thank all you guys who joined in. Leave some comments. Here's the three vlogs. Stay tuned. The garden's coming up. It's your boy Blaze McCoy. We are here in the backyard. And this is vlog number one of my home garden video log. And here is our lovely little gardening area. So far down here we have onions, there's some garlic, just recently planted ginger root, roughly a hundred onions, we're going to do tomatoes, some peppers, sweet peppers, and a lot of herbs as well over here in the herb garden where we'll do cilantro, basil. So you can see the cilantro already growing back from last year. We'll do a lot of basil, we'll do oregano, we'll do parsley, and rosemary in this pot. And hopefully, you see the rest of the yard here, fire pit. Over here, we hope to have some strawberries growing along the shed there. And you can see the buds starting to form on the grapevine. So that is it for vlog number one. Your boy Blaze McCoy, his home garden. I'm a novice gardener, taught myself. Yo, 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 welcome to part two of your boy Blaze McCoy's video log of my little home garden. I'm going to give a little more background on it this time. A little more info of what I got going on. And I'm a novice watching videos and just learning by making mistakes. Um, I'm your backyard gardener, I guess you could say. A seasoned rookie. I've been gardening for years, but let's just go back through. Of course, we tried a putt-putt course here. It may end up being a pond. I had a friend that donated a bunch of extra professional-grade artificial turf to where my grass wouldn't grow. And down here now, we said before, a lot of onions. Now I've used some compost mixed with cow manure as well as some garden soil on top. 130 onions. Ginger root also planted for the first time this year. We're testing it. And you can see so far, there we have some garlic starting to sprout. And these root vegetables here are getting in early in the ground. I'm waiting for the roots of our flowers, uh, more herbs, as well as 
tomatoes, peppers, and some vegetables. Herb garden over here growing more of the onions that are coming up. We're going to let them get bigger, bulb up. We're going to dry out some onion, use it in our seasoning as well. Herb garden once again growing a little bit. You see more of the cilantro continuing to grow from last year, just the seeds, the coriander re regrowing. And then over the other side, we might as well check our fruit section, I guess you could call it, where we had strawberries in the past and they're continuing to regrow and you can see them flowering. So you got some flowers on some of the strawberries that naturally just came back this year. And we'll see what happens with those. The birds normally get to them. And the grapevine. Last time it was just little buds. Now you see the grape leaves starting to form. You see them growing. You see all the bees and hornets and yellow jackets around harvesting, getting ready as well. And that's it, folks. Part two of your boy Blaze McCoy, the seasoned rookie gardener here in the backyard. We'll call it a day and we'll see you soon with another episode and see how the garden's doing. Peace. I'm out is your boy blaze mccoy part three it's april 2019 here in rainy southwestern pennsylvania you can see the mountains off in the distance there this is garden vlog part three we're mixing old school and new school in gaming music and i guess uh home landscaping and gardening now is too we'll be planting next but as you can see in the garden now we've already cleaned weeded tealed added compost cow manure, garden soil. I always want your guys' opinion on Seven Dust, not the band, obviously, and Sad Trombone, or uh, any kind of treatment for weeds or anything that people lay down or plant previously. I'm up for any of those opinions out there. Now, vegetables will be planting, banana peppers, yellow tomatoes, no hot stuff. Um, I have some stomach issues, so we stick to sweet stuff. Sweet. So cucumbers and zucchini we've tried and failed a bunch of times. Uh, kohlrabi or kohlrabs as we call them here. Um, onions, you see plenty of them planted already. Some of the ones in the middle are garlic, so many of the herbs. We've also planted ginger root. We'll take you to the herb garden where we will be planting basil. A lot of basil. Oregano, parsley, rosemary, and this pot right in front of us. Sage. I don't know about lemongrass. You guys can tell me about that too, but you can see some of the cilantro starting to grow back already. In the garden. So in a couple weeks, we'll be planting people. We'll come back to the garden here. You can see each of the beds. The onions are really getting up there. Right there in that small area is where the ginger root is. We'll see it. It even makes it. But if you guys have any gardens, greenhouses, farms, whatever, you know, I'd love your input in the garden. That's my Axl Rose impersonation there. I can even do a little Eddie Vedder, I guess. Into your garden, garden. <laughs> well, yeah, like, like I said, yeah. Uh, we're always clowning around on the channel here. Why not for the garden portion as well? It's your boy, Blaze McCoy. Please leave a comment below um, and let me know about your experience, what you think about this, um, any tips or tricks, ideas, processes, recipes, do's or don'ts. I'm open to any suggestions, uh, conversation as we all continue to learn and grow here with me, your boy, Blaze McCoy, the seasoned rookie Zen Garden at the Blaze Radio Network here on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon to put plants in the ground in a couple weeks live here on the Blaze Radio Network. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for notifications so you know when Blaze Radio goes live. This is the new Blaze McCoy Zen Garden vlog. Stay tuned for more coming soon. Right here. Peace.